Have you ever suffered a reaction to something you've eaten? If you have, you probably have a condition called food hypersensitivity. Let's look into why this happens. There are different types of food hypersensitivity. Food allergy, celiac disease and food intolerance are three examples. Food allergy is when your immune system, which helps your body fight infections, mistakes the proteins in food as a threat. Allergic reactions can range from mild to very serious, such as itchiness, hives, vomiting, swelling of the eyes, lips and airways, which makes it difficult to breathe. The most severe allergic reaction is called anaphylaxis, which can even lead to death. You can be allergic to any food, but certain foods are responsible for most food allergies. In the UK, food businesses must tell you if they use any of the 14 key allergens in the food and drink they produce. The 14 include common allergens like nuts, peanuts, eggs and milk, as well as unusual ones such as lupin, celery, mustard and sulphites. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition caused by a reaction to gluten found in grains such as wheat. The immune system attacks the small intestines and reduces its ability to absorb nutrients from food. Following a gluten-free diet can prevent long-term health problems. Food intolerance doesn't involve your immune system and is never life-threatening. The symptoms of a food intolerance can occur hours after eating the offending food. People with food intolerance tend to experience symptoms like diarrhea, skin rashes or itching. So there you have it. The FSA explains food hypersensitivity. You can find out more information at food.gov.uk.